here's the create statement and you know fallback's been implemented. Look at this, I've color coded this for you. We've got our create table, we've got our table name, comma, fallback. And then we have our columns and their data types in the primary index. If you see fallback, you know the table is fallback protected. It used to be that whenever you created a table, the default was fallback protection. Not anymore. Disks are more reliable. The system's more reliable. So, if you don't say you want fallback, the default is no fallback. When you create a table, that's called DDL, Data Definition Language. Here we've created a table and we actually say no fallback, so there will be none. Now, there's a possibility that you'll create a table. You won't even mention the word fallback. Later, you will view the DDL with a show table and the table name, and it'll come up and you'll see no fallback, and you go, that was the system default, so it's in there automatically. The great thing about fallback is that you can actually add it later. So in the first example, I say, alter this table, table name, fallback. And they go, okay, we'll get the buddy amps, we'll put the data out there. Now that table is fallback protected. On the other side of this, and you'll see this more often, you may have fallback on all your tables. A lot of times you'll just have fallback on the really important ones. But, Sometimes they say, we're running out of space. They can go in and actually say, alter these tables, no fallback, and that's deleted, and you regain that perm space.